very happy morning to all today we are going to discuss about another new topic in your 6th class biology that is condiments i think you heard the word condiments then what is the definition of condiments see here children condiments are the special ingredients what are condiments they are special ingredients that are normally added we are adding the condiments in small portions in small portions of our food while cooking okay small portions to enhance food flavor why we are adding to enhance to increase the flavor of the food we people are adding condiments and the condiment the meaning of condiment is pregnant material condiment means pregnant material okay uh, once again recall what are condiments condiments are the special ingredients that are normally added in small portions to enhance food flavor to enhance food flavor okay um, we call the condiments as sugandha dravyalu in telugu sugandha dravyalu in telugu by listening the word condiments you have to memorize whenever we add condiment to the food it indicates that it increases flavor of the food okay now here just have you look we also call the condiments as spices okay we also call the condiments as some of the condiments as spices see here spice is a seed spices or any kind of a seed fruit or root bark or other material or other part of a plant okay use it for flavoring or coloring of our food while we are eating or while we are cooking in cooking process we eat, we add condiments in very little quantities if you add more then the spiciness of the condiments makes the food to be spoiled that's why we are using them in little quantities uh, the little quantity is enough to give more flavor to the food at what time are we using all the spices in all varieties of foods no uh, on special occasions we prepare different varieties of foods what are that like biryani whenever we talk about special occasion you people have uh, interest what kind of interest you have to eat delicious food items like uh, certain varieties of the sweets um, veg biryani chicken biryani mutton biryani like that in that biryanis we use condiments to increase the flavor of the rice the normal rice it won't give uh, a delicious flavor but the biryani it gives a nice flavor while we are eating and while we are cooking also all that credit goes to your mother hand along with condiments okay then move to the next one here what are the different varieties of condiments just have you look cloves in telugu we call the cloves as lavangalu okay clove means lavangam okay what part of clove plant we are using as cloves we use a dried flower buds means these are cloves or buds we just in the bud stage only we are plucking the buds of the clove plant and we are using that dried flower buds as cloves then move to the next one cinnamon what is that cinnamon we people are well familiar with cinnamon in telugu we call as dalchini dalchini okay what part of the plant we are using as cinnamon cinnamon plant bark we are using as cinnamon and it is somewhat as sweet in nature but clove it is not sweet in nature and we are unable to consume directly through our mouth only we use in the food in order to add flavor if you take directly then the spiciness it just make us to get irritation that's why we are using cloves only in the food and cinnamon uh, it, so though it is giving some sweetness after eating you may feel some spiciness on your tongue that's why most of the people they won't consume the cinnamon directly into the mouth they use in the food items 
Then move to the next one. Biryani leaves. Biryani leaves. Whenever we add biryani leaf to the biryani, it increases the flavor of the food. Okay. Generally, we call this biryani leaf as bay leaf. The name itself indicating that it is the part of a, a plant. Which part of a plant? It is a leaf. Leaves also we are adding, using as a condiment. Then move to the next one. Next one, cardamoms. What are that? Cardamoms. Generally we call as ilachi. In Telugu we call as yalukul. Okay. And here, which part we are using as cardamom fruit? We take the fruit of the cardamom plant and we just make it to dry. If you open the cardamom, inside you may find some seeds. Okay, then move to the next one. Not only these spices, in some special occasions, your mother, uh, um, she may prepare some delicious sweets. In that sweets, we people have interest to eat dry fruits. Your mother may add dry fruits. Okay. What kind of dry fruit she may add? See here. See here, children. Almond. We people are well familiar with almonds. Badam. Kismis. In Telugu also we call as Kismis. Later, cashew nuts. Chidi Papu. All, um, including this, another, material, uh, another dry fruit called as a Pista. These are all dry fruits which are having very nutritional values in it and which are very expansive. If you talk about almonds, these are seeds. They are generally present inside the fruit. Whenever the fruit ripen, we just uh, destroy the fruit and we remove seeds from the almond fruit. Kismis. By drying up the kismis, general grapes, either black or green, we are able to prepare kismis. Later, cashew nuts. If you talk about cashew nuts, we find to the cashew plant here, you may find a nut shape, shaped seed. Inside this, inside this hard covering, we find the cashew nuts. It is the false fruit. The thalamus of cashew nut tree converts into false fruit, modified fruit and seed. It may exist out of the, below the uh, modified fruit. Then move to the next activity in your sixth class. That is, here they give, in your textbook they give, name of the plant. By seeing the name of the plant, which part of that plant we are using as our uh, eating item, as our food. Now we are going to discuss about that here in your textbook. They give only the plant name. By listening the plant name, you people have to write which part of that particular plant we are using for eating. See here, fenugreek. By listening the word fenugreek, uh, in Telugu we call this one as a mentulu. Okay, you may get one idea by listening this. Mentulu. Fenugreek means mentulu in Telugu. What, um, what part of that plant we are using, we are consuming, that is leaves and seeds. If we talk about mustard, mustard in Telugu we call as avalu. Mustard in Telugu, what we are calling avalu. What part we are using as our food? Seeds, mustard seeds. In the preparation of all curries, your mother may use mustard seeds. Later... Go to the next one. Sugar cane. By listening this, you may get one idea. Sugar cane. Cherku. For the preparation of sugar, we use sugar cane. And what part we are getting that sugar from the stem. By using the stem, we are able to prepare the sugar by getting, by crushing the stem. Juicy stem of the sugar cane plant, we get juice. By distillating that juice, we get sugar. Then move to the carrot. Carrot. Which part of carrot plant we are using? Root. Okay. The excess amount of food is stored in the root of carrot plant. And we are consuming that roots as a food. Then move to the onion. Which part of onion we are onion plant we are using as a food? 
here many points are there to discuss about onion actually we may think that it is present under the ground the onion belongs to root no it is not belongs to the root the onion is a modified stem modified stem if you see the onion the base it may contain roots and here you may see a bulby structure and here you may find leaf like a uh, scales that uh, leaf like scales are called as scale leaves and this one is bulb this bulb we are using and stem it is modified as a, a little amount means the stem is very short and the it modifies as bulb and this bulb it may contain scale leaves we are using that scale leaves and sometimes we may use the whole onion plant in the form of spring onions in the preparation of fried rice and some special varieties your mother may use spring onions of different colors which may increase and enhance the flavor of the food and test taste of the food then move to the next one what is that asopoetida asopoetida in telugu we call the asopoetida as ingua and we use that asopoetida to decrease the bad smell of some foods like chicken mutton fish some people they may use and while we are cooking lentils dal different varieties of dals also we may use asopoetida which is also having more nutritional values in it and which may increase the flavor of the food then move uh, what part of asopoetida we are using as powder of asopoetida here latex of root if you go to the asopoetida plant if you cut near to the root we may get gummy substance that gummy substance whenever we expose it to the sunlight or to the air it get it just become the liquid it may become into solid and by crushing that solid we get a powder and that powder form is called as asopoetida this is about today's class uh, mostly we discussed about condiments condiments also plays an important role along with the dry fruits which adds more flavor to our food along with the flavor it also increases the taste of the food i will meet you soon in the next video till then stay curious and keep learning